Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a very comfortable 59 degree Tuesday, the 13th of June. Oh, there's some blue. It's supposed to be mostly cloudy today. I don't think there's any chance of rain. But uh, it'll be much cooler today. A high of 69, I think they're saying. Looks like Vancouver, somewhere in the low 70s. That'll be a shocker. I think it said 72. But uh, yeah, what a big difference from yesterday. At one point down south there, it was 92 degrees. Well, that was while we are on the highway too. But if you're on a motorcycle, that temperature is real. Regardless of what the weather station says, you're riding in 92 degree weather. That's why it's nice to have an onboard thermometer on your motorcycle even those four motion things are very accurate got to be careful of the black faced ones though because if you're pointing in the sun it gets a, a hotter than than real reading man what a comfortable morning anyway welcome to Tuesday definitely not bright and vibrant today <laughs> no it's not 66 instead of 72. What, 72 when we got here yesterday? I think so. But, um, well, you're going to have days like this. Yeah, it's going to be cloudy one. Yeah. Cloudy at one point, where are we at? And going through Kelso or somewhere through there? Yeah, it's it's a light Kelso. little mist yeah. that's hitting the wind child. <laughs> well, Mama? Yes, I hope. Tuesday is upon us. It is a doubt. All right. Let's go in there and earn our keep. All right. All right. You have a wonderful Tuesday. You too. Have a All right. Well, we see you. Bye. Up, yeah. All right. Bye bye now. Bye. You know, I give kudos to people that that are willing to do their own services and stuff on bikes. But dude, you got to make sure you're using the right tool. Both of these drain plugs, especially the engine side which this is the same drain plug that is the clutch side on a 1330, if you guys don't know that. Completely rounded out. Had to hammer in, oh, I don't have it out here. Had to hammer in the six millimeter Allen on both of these. And they were grotesquely tight. So he probably stripped them when he was tightening them. The engine oil filter, which is sitting there cockeyed draining. You guys don't do that. That's a lifesaver in a cleaning mess. But both the main oil filter and the HCM filter, both in bolts were crazy over tight, like way over tight. You need to know what you're doing before you mess with these things. Best thing with these things, just don't touch them. But an oil change, that's pretty simple. And if you can't make it through that, definitely, I'm telling you, don't touch them. So anyway, a rant for the day. Took me forever to get that daggum things off. Now I gotta pray we have the drain plugs in stock. Made it home safe and sound. I built the, the other three wheels. When I got home here, super, super easy. If you're doing your own wheels, have a can of Honda silicone spray handy. Any Honda motorcycle shop or Honda auto dealer will have that. You can get it online. You can get it from Amazon, too. Those look proper on here. Look how pleasant the suspension is on this thing. Watch how she just gracefully and evenly just settles herself back down. Them Proline shocks are next level. But uh, I ordered a set of the trio wheels. And they'll be here like Thursday to put the BF Goodrich K KM3s on there. They're they're worth it. Them wheels are, are super nice. Oh, speaking of those, let me show you something here. So these are properly mounted. If you peel it back, you can see, see that bead in the tire. That's the way these heavy-duty beads on these... Uh, these are Predator Compound BF Goodrich KM3s. These are super soft, the blue dots. But you can see all the way around, it's perfect. Perfect. The only way I can get these to, to mount, this is another KM3 set, but this, these are a scale 1.9 inch or 4.19 inch and skinnier. 
But this is what happens when you try to mount these up to these aftermarket rims. Look where the bead, can't get that to show up. The bead is actually outside of the rim. Essentially what it, yeah, look at that. See how much of it's hanging out there? Because they're basically, they don't fit in there. They are pinched. They're squeezing themselves and they're oozing out because these rims can't accept tires like this. See, it's the same way on the on the backside too. You can see the tire sticking, the bead of the tire is outside the rim, not perfectly, perfectly against the rim like it is there. So uh, anyway, these are uh, G8 compound as well. And <laughs> I have a set of Predators in this too, which I don't care because um, I aspire to do some class one running at some point and you have to run these tires, but they're not gonna be on this wheel. In fact, I found the box that those came in. This is the box that I just showed you came in. I don't want to take these things apart before it ruins them tires. And I'll just stash them back in the box and I'll have to use aftermarket tires. You can't put some quality thing like a Proline on there. Look at the color of those things. They all turn that weird color. Just with dirt and simple wash them off. You take them off and just wash them. Just you can even use hand soap on it. It doesn't matter. But uh, I just uh, rinse them off and they turn jet black again. But uh, anyway, you want to see what that what that thing looks like going down the buzzing around? Let's go out there and play for a half second. So our first run, very first run, with a silicone probably soaked. That silicone will absorb in the rubber and actually preserve it. And where it's um, like a beat it up in the rim, it'll actually become very sticky. And uh, they'll stick to them fantastically, but here we go. These are uh, Hobby Park um, Proline Hyrax uh, copies, knockoffs, on the uh, RC four-wheel drive wheels. I love those wheels. The look up, man, they're just incredible. Let's see how slippery these things are. They gotta be crazy slippery at first. That looks good. That looks real good. I like they're slightly, you know, dished in so they protrude out. We'll get you a profile look here so you can see how they stick out. It's maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more from the fender wells where the stock wheels are pretty much even with it. Let's see they stick out just a little, just a little bit. actually quite nice looking so it'll give the truck a little more width which should give it some stability the first uh, hobby park wheels I think they were too far dished but you know I've only tried them with a uh, um, the class one legal tires so they're really small they'll kind of look funny they're so short you like the way these things look Yeah, buddy. They look good. So let's see how this thing climbs up the old ramp here. The first of the weird ramp. Oh yeah. Well, the tire's all nice and fresh. I was just concerned that silicone hadn't cured all the way and might be a little slippery, but that's not the case. That's cool. Let's see how she how she handles the uh, the ramp here. I'm trying to be cool with my remote control and watch the camera here at the same time without losing my mind and uh, like giving it too much throttle and making it fly. <laughs> not that you've ever seen me do that before. I don't know what these things are going to do. I'm, I'm going to imagine they're going to be good and grippy. It would be my thought. Oh, 
little slide out of it. That's not bad. These tires have been just phenomenal. I mean, I, I literally got these things on sale for, on Amazon for like 11 bucks. I just bought another set because they work so good on my, on my K10. I thought, well, I need another set of those in case I wear them out. So that's that bag I was showing you last night. I hadn't opened it up yet. Had them for a while. Let's see what she thinks about going up the ramp. Now, now with these Proline shocks back on here with no negative springs to control, um, oh, sorry, the droop, or the, yeah, which controls the droop, this thing will uh, torque twist the frame pretty good. So I can make that, that, left, that left wheel go in the air, no problem. But it's climbing that thing. And these are brand new tires, you know, you can give them a little seasoning in. But I gotta admit, though, those BF Goodrich KM3s, they've right out of the bag, as it may be. She's slipping a little bit. I'm slipping a lot. <laughs> yeah, but you know, 11 bucks compared to what is it, 60 something bucks for a set of those KM3s. That's where the difference comes from. Do you like the way those wheels look, though? Just wish I could get them KM3s on there. I can get them on there, but as you see, they uh, they ooze out. That's not right. It just doesn't look right. It just looks funky. Oh, I have some action figures. What do you guys think about uh, Spider-Man? I'm not into any of that stuff, but I found these things on Amazon, and they're very flexible. Should be here tomorrow. So I got two of them. One's a bright colored Spider-Man, you know, the vibrant blue and red, and the other one is blue and black, I think. It's a dark version. Uh, and I got the second one just because uh, I got it for considerably less, because that's I don't know, was that one of the Spider-Man characters? I have no idea. He's very dark. Oh, drove that thing right off in there. I was paying to the, cam to the camera and not the angle of the truck. That's cool beans, man. Gave that Danny or whoever it was a bunch of credit for uh, um, almost filling the hole back in. I don't know what that was about or why they done it. But she's back into a deep pit once again. So you can handle the loose stuff. And was it, well, slipped a little bit. That's all right. Those things happen. <laughs> <laughs> go across our little board thing which has kind of flattened itself out here I need to stack it back up again hay fever and stuff has been getting me so I apologize for the the nasally sounds let's go back in the pit Look where I've been going up and down so much on there. The bricks are getting unsettled. When I had those uh, um, scale one or class one cam threes on there, the um, the pumpkin and and the like the the C or whatever you know the steering link which, or whatever you call it up there was uh, hitting the bricks and moving things around. She's a sweet old gal, this old Bronco.
see how you handle this thing with some with some dirt on you. Yeah, she's actually starting to grip a little bit better. It's probably just uh, you know new tires, just like anything else. When they're new, they tend to be slippery. Not to mention dousing them with a. Uh, I didn't really douse them. I you know hit the beads and uh in the rims and then putting stuff together it's oozing on my hand so yeah they were not that i sprayed everything with it but they just naturally get it on there yeah a little bit of slip in there that's okay though i was always happy with these on that k10 Tankers on me here, just going across here. Be messing around. Got time to be fooling with you. Yeah, I like them. And I got some trills, like I say, coming to put the the G8 compound uh, KM3s on. It'll be nice. Very nice. Well, hello there, YouTube. Look, I'm cool, and I put this plaid shirt over my T-shirt. She's out here in a thin little little nighty night night. She's crazy. Hot. Yeah, she did some like she found a way to do some more spring cleaning. <laughs> she goes, it's still spring till the 21st. Yep. <laughs> anyway, that was fun tinkering with the spider and then playing with them wheels. I really like the way those wheels look. I would just wish I could get the Proline tires on there. I would be super happy. I can get them on there, but they'll bulge out like the Proline's on the black wheels. There's no way of avoiding it. I actually stumbled across a guy on YouTube that uh, was driving something around. I forget what kind of truck it was, but uh, driving one around, I'm going, oh my God. He squeezed, they were KM3s. I don't know if they're Predators or, or G G8 compound, but um, definitely all bulged out. And I'm like... Yeah, that's what they do when you try to get them on, you know. I'm just going to... Yeah. But uh, anyway, that's really cool. I like it. And those $11 Hyrax knockoffs actually work surprisingly well. Not as good as a high, real Hyrax. That's what I have on the, the Ford Bronco Traxxas. That thing, that crazy, really good tires. But anyway, we're going to cut it at that. We almost pushed it. Yep. The sunset tonight. We did. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke oh, channel. Oh. Don't forget to give her thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. We're laughing. There's rabbits run through the yard. And Leo's just like, <laughs> <laughs> they just run right past him. They know how far he can go on his uh, cable. And yeah. They go right up to him. It freaks him out. He just gets all pissed off. Like, come play with me. I <laughs> know it. But anyway, we'll see you guys in the morning. See you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.